So RP or retinitis pigmentosa is a rod cone degenerative disorder and hallmark of RP is bony spicules. So we know that there is loss of photoreceptor in case of RP and this is followed by outer retinal loss. And we have seen that bony spicules are common in the areas of photoreceptor loss. So with the loss of photoreceptors and outer retinal loss, the inner retina comes in contact with the RP. So this makes the RP in close contact with blood vessels as the inner retina contains blood vessels in the outer plexiform layer. Since there is loss of photoreceptor, there is a decrease in oxygen demand and this leads to retinal arterial constriction. So now RP cells start detaching from Bruch's membrane as they are attracted to blood flow and excess oxygen. Hence the bony spicules seen in RP are characteristically perivascular. So why RP cells are attracted to blood vessel is unknown but there is affinity of RP cells towards the vascular lamina. Also, there may be secretion of cytokines from the blood vessels and the increased oxygen tension in the blood vessels may attract the RP cells. Also, we have seen that with the loss of photoreceptor, there is loss of choreocapillaries. So, we may speculate that RP migration and bony spicule formation is an attempt to form a blood retina barrier similar to the RP choreocapillaris. So with the formation of this blood retinal barrier, we see that RP cells lead to formation of tight junctions and there is deposition of extracellular matrix. And this further leads to attenuation of blood vessels, which is characteristically seen in retinitis pigmentosa. So now we know why there are formation of bony spicules and why they are characteristically perivascular and why do we see retinal artery attenuation in cases of retinitis pigmentosa.